assigned to aisle seat 37C, I lamented the missed opportunity to document our ascent and yet find solace in the convenience of lavatory adjacency. The ensuing hours offers glimpses of Saudi Arabia's vast desert expanse. Anticipation reaches it, its zenith as the Spanish landscape materializes on the horizon. Out of the blue, I consented to move to the middle seat in the front row simply to accommodate the arguing passengers. Luckily, my seatmate kindly offered to let me extend my 360 camera to capture our descent. <laughs> Catch flights, not feelings. <laughs> online palaboy as the clock strikes at the wee hours of the morning in Qatar with just a quarter past midnight I find myself amidst the basting ambience of Hamad International Airport want to join me on this accelerating journey this time my compass points westward as I embark on an adventure shrouded in mystery the destination I am bound for is a coveted gem in every traveler's treasure trove, perhaps even gracing the top 10 of many of the wanderers' bucket list. But let's give it hush hush for now, shall we? Eager to immense myself in the airport ambience, I arrive a good six hours ahead of my boarding schedule, armed with a desire to capture every fleeting moment through the lens of my camera. Upon my arrival, I wasted no time and made a beeline for the self-check-in counter. However, my excitement was momentarily dampened when the chaos failed to recognize my passport on the initial scan. Persistent paid off, though as the document was eventually authenticated after a couple more attempts. Given the visa prerequisites of my destination, the machine frankly directed me to seek assistance from an airline agent. Hello. Moment, sir. Yes, sir. You are going to Madrid? Yes. Is this a you heard it right. I am bound no. for Madrid. <laughs> True to their multitasking prowess, the agent efficiently verified my travel documents amidst attending to other travelers' needs. Mm -hmm. No. What is this, sir? 
啊，看到了。看到了。With my boarding pass in hand, courtesy of the diligent agent, I prompted to check in my luggage rather than lug it around as carry on. After ensuring my belongings were securely tagged, I proceeded to the luggage drop station. Next stop, the immigration e-gate counter, where a seamless passage awaited, whisking me through with the utmost ease. With formalities attended to, I found myself in the tranquil embrace of the waiting area, where an iconic lumber welcomed weary travelers. Little did I know, a hidden gem awaited in the form of a nearby food court, providing a welcome respite for the famish. And what a better way to while away the time than leisurely stroll to the orchard garden, a verdant oasis amid the desert expanse, a first-time delight for these eyes accustomed to arid landscapes. I am bound for Madrid at 7.55 in the morning. With my boarding gate situated in Wing A, I decided to gauge its proximity before delving into further exploration. waited the boarding call, I seized the opportunity to capture snapshots of the bustling terminal eager to immortalize the pre-flight anticipation. At precisely 6.25 am, the gate swung open. Ushering in the first batch of eager travelers, myself included. At 7.25 a.m., our section was beacon to fort to embark on the airborne leg of our journey. As flight itinerary unfolds, it becomes evident that this transcontinental voyage is nothing short but a blockbuster affair.
we commence our flight report for QR149 from Doha to Madrid. A 7 hour and 30 minutes odyssey aboard Qatar Airways Boeing 777-300ER. With a passenger capacity of 354 souls, featuring 42 in business class and 312 in economy. The aircraft stands poised to whisk us across 6,298 kilometers at an average speed of 840 km per hour. Notably, a one-hour time differential awaits us upon our Madrid arrival. Amidst the seat-bound congestions, a visit to lavatory offers a momentarily respite, a familiar ritual amidst the aerial sojourn. And while the waiting game continues, why not steal a glance at the bustling tarmac where a symphony of activity unfolds in preparation for departure. Assigned to aisle seat 37C, I lamented the missed opportunity to document our ascent and yet find solace in the convenience of lavatory adjacency. sets in motion, taxiing along the runway in anticipation of lift-off. Despite the setback, the trusty zoom function of my iPhone comes to the rescue, capturing the fleeting glimpses of our aerial ascent.
the clock strikes 9 a.m., the Cavin Cruise springs into action, offering a delectable selection of meals. Opting for the sesame scallion chicken with jasmine rice, the ensemble includes a bread roll, dulce de leche cheesecake, and mixed fruits, a tantalizing assortment of discerning palette. The ensuing hours offers glimpses of Saudi Arabia's vast desert expanse. Punctuated by moments of culinary indulgence and exploratory forays into the in-flight entertainment systems, an antiquated iteration boosting a responsive touchscreen and detachable console. A noteworthy discovery unfolds as the mill tray reveals a discreet rubber lining designed to withstand the occasional turbulence, a testament to meticulous attention to details. As we traverse the Swiss Canal, an impromptu laboratory excursion offers a brief interlude from seat-bound monotony. p.m. a light repast is served. Featuring a tantalizing tandoori chicken pizza, a departure from the anticipated gustatory delights of Madrid. reaches it, its zenith as the Spanish landscape materializes on the horizons at 1.26 p.m. Out of the blue, I consented to move to the middle seat in the front row simply to accommodate the arguing passengers. Luckily, my seatmate kindly offered to let me extend my 360 camera to capture our descent.
2 p.m., the descent commences, culminating in a smooth touchdown at Adolfo Suarez Madrid Barajas Airport. teaming masses disembarking from the aircraft. As we conclude our flight report for QR149 from Doha to Madrid, bidding adieu to the azure skies and welcoming the vibrant streets of Madrid with open arms. Hola amigos, estoy ahora en Madrid, hasta luego. Catch flights.